Today I'll be updating you on my turtles, but first, a quick project. It's a super pretty day in my backyard today, and I'm hoping to make it look a little bit cooler with something that my snapping turtle will appreciate as well. I've been scouting out the land to see where certain animals could go out here that are perfectly uh, safe outdoors, and the snapper is one, and I think I'm actually going to put them right up to the back of the house. There's this little kind of overgrown spot, but we're going to fix it up and hopefully make it look super cool. And this video is sponsored by Skillshare, but we'll talk about that once we make a little bit of progress. Okay, to the like six professional bush trimmers watching this video, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, I've done like a whole five minutes of work. And for a YouTuber, that is a lot of work. So now's a good time to talk about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for pretty much any creator. You can explore skills or deepen some of your current interests and even my smooth brain little self that I tend to have trouble absorbing information uh, it's actually been quite easy. Because the classes are broken down into small lessons, you can jump around, there's discussions, and the teachers are actually active, so you can ask them questions. I know a lot of you hope to build similar projects to mine, like with GoHerping and Emerald Scales, so I highly suggest checking out their top-rated uh, e-commerce classes and business and marketing stuff that they have on there. And if you make videos yourself, Skillshare has everything from the most simple video editing to advanced classes that'll help you turn your content into a full-on career. I just finished up animating with ease and After Effects, and it was distraction-free thanks to the lack of ads. Can I learn how to properly trim bushes? Okay, I don't think so. But I do have these overgrown garden beds in the backyard, and I don't really know where to begin. So all I've done is dig them out, and now I actually have a starting point of how to grow some nice veggies. So the first 1,000 of you that click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore it yourself. So if you're interested, just join the platform. And if you enjoy it, members get unlimited access to thousands of classes. And here is the snapper himself. I've had him for years and I still haven't named him. Ultimately, the tub is a lot more simple than I expected. I got some lily pads, but they still have to grow in. So right now, they just look kind of sad. But I got some plants to put around the enclosure. I'll plant a few of them and then put the others in pots. So hopefully that'll help. And he's just gonna hang out here. So the way the house is oriented, uh, the sun will basically hit his enclosure about eight to 10 hours a day. And my hope is that once the lily pads grow, they'll be the cover for him to kind of hang out under the shade and keep the temperature cooler. But until the lily pads actually grow in, I'm just gonna put like a piece of plastic or something over half the enclosure so that he can cool off in that area. Updates on the turtle himself. A lot of people ask if he's supposed to grow this slowly and there's not a ton of information on keeping snappers. Like most people don't keep common snapping turtles. Uh, when I got him, he was way smaller than this. So he's grown a ton, but he is most certainly a slow grower. I am pretty confident he's not stunted because I actually was paranoid about that when he was a baby and I ended up overfeeding him a bit to where he actually got pretty fat. And so I ended up dialing back his diet to make sure he was a good weight. So I'm definitely confident he's not stunted and he's been growing consistently. And I would say most importantly, he seems like a really good shape to me. There's no weird lumps or bumps or anything. His shell looks symmetrical and smooth and even and I think he is going to grow well. Out of the water, he's really scared and does not like being touched too much. But once he's in the water, he turns into an aggressive little crazy man who will eat anything that you put near him pretty much. Um, he's pretty good about not biting fingers, but 
still better to not take any chances. I also got a little filter to put in there. So we can finish this up and although I'm going to keep adding more, he can at least start living in it. And then on the back porch behind me is Franklin, the Raider Slider, who's only gotten better over time, but he has been through so many different homes and enclosures because I got him uh, at, when I was living with my parents and then my family moved a few times. So he went through like three homes and then I moved and then I had to move him back to my family's home. So he's moved like 10 or 11 times, not including the 10 years before I had him. He's been through a lot of moves, but he has never minded, and he always gets these cool new views, new enclosures, all sorts of stuff, and he's never had any issues with that, and has only gotten better over time. His shell did not form very well when he was previously cared for before I got him, but it's gotten a bit better, and he still continues to slowly grow. He still always gets uh, a little nervous when you come towards him. Like, think of when you go to a pond or a lake, and there's a bunch of turtles on logs, and the moment they see you, they just jump into the water. That's what he does, but then he comes back out like a minute later because he realizes it's just you, so. Because it's a bigger tub, the water actually stays pretty cool. And I'm also going to add some cover to his, because when I first moved here, it was still kind of cool, but now that it's almost more summerish weather, it's getting hot, it's like 90 degrees right now, so I'll also cover him part of his enclosure but he's always just a fun one to let run around and hang out and explore. And he's one of the animals that truly enjoys human interaction. Cause sure, a lot of animals will tolerate it, like reptiles will be okay with it, but maybe not prefer it. But Franklin, he'll come to you, he'll hang out with you. And he's one that I can just kind of bring inside, let him hang out. And at the same time, know that he's happy and safe out here as well. I made the mistake of leaving some filters outside and somewhere in the garage, and some of them actually cracked on the move. I was curious how to fix this, so I figured to, I would dig up an old meme and flex tape actually kind of fixed the filter. So fun fact, I guess that kind of works. Um, but the filter still just has such a low flow that I think I'll need to get a different one because the water's getting cloudy way too fast. It used to be crystal clear, but I think the filter's just giving out, so. Um, I'll move him down, I'll get him a more strong filter, and kind of set up, maybe plant some stuff around him as well. The backyard is kind of just going to be a little shrine of turtles because there's also some more coming in, and I'm going to get them similar tubs, but those will not be permanent animals. I'll eventually uh, sell those where they'll be available to you, so. And finally, my third turtle, Harriet, who I got, I think, the same year as the snapping turtle. She's been growing, but she's kept inside. Someday I think I will set her up an outdoor enclosure, but because she's like this big, I'm scared to right now because I feel like she'll somehow get out. But I'll think about it. If you have any ideas, definitely let me know because I'd love to give her some sort of cool outdoor enclosure here. It could be totally covered, but for now she's just chilling in her little mountainside enclosure that I made her in a separate video like years ago, and it's still holding in there. At the last home, I had to temporarily keep her in a smaller enclosure, so some of the plants died because I wasn't paying attention to it. But the aloe vera is still doing well, which she for some reason never eats even though she could. And it's just a 40 gallon, which is, is small for an adult box turtle, but she's still a baby and she's still growing as well. And so that's my squad of three turtles. I never really thought I would like turtles years ago, but they've actually been the ones that I've become kind of the most attached to in a way. And there's definitely a lot more coming in, so I don't think I'll ever keep more than just those three. But We'll see what else comes in. But that's a bit of an update on just where the Snapper, Franklin, and Harriet are hanging out in the new home and outside the new home. And I'll continue developing everything that they've got. But that'll be it for this video. So I'm Alex, and thanks for watching.